evaluate the following. And then we have three different arithmetic problems involving complex numbers, two addition problems, and one subtraction problem. Let's do these one at a time. We'll start with the first. 3 plus 4i plus 5 plus 6i. When we're adding two complex numbers, the parentheses here aren't necessary. They just exist to show which is the first and which is the second number. So we don't actually change the problem at all if we rewrite it without the parentheses. This gives us 3 plus 4i plus 5 plus 6i. It's nice to get the parentheses out of the way because then it's pretty easy to see that we can combine like terms. If we combine the real parts, 3 plus 5 gives us 8. And then if we combine the imaginary parts, 4i plus 6i gives us 10i. So in the end, we end up with 8 plus 10i. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have 4 minus 9i plus negative 5 plus 2i. Again, we can remove the parentheses. There's nothing that needs to be distributed here, so those parentheses are just there to make it look nicer. So this is going to be 4 minus 9i, and then we can write minus 5 because adding negative 5 is the same as subtracting 5. So minus 5 plus 2i. And again, we can combine the real and imaginary parts. For the real parts, 4 minus 5 gives us negative 1. And for the imaginary parts, negative 9i plus 2i gives us negative 7i. And so we end up with negative 1 minus 7i. The subtraction problem is just a little bit more complicated. We've got 2 minus 10i minus 4 minus 10i. And when we're subtracting complex numbers, we have to remember to distribute the subtraction sign to the real and imaginary parts of the second one when we remove the parentheses. So the first one stays the same, 2 minus 10i. But then we have to distribute the subtraction. So we're going to have minus 4. And then when we subtract a negative, we know that that becomes adding, so that's going to be plus 10i. Again, we combine the real and imaginary parts. The real parts, 2 minus 4, give us negative 2. And then the imaginary parts, negative 10i plus 10i, give us 0i. We can write negative 2 plus 0i. We can also leave it as negative 2. Both of these are perfectly acceptable. You might wonder why we might want to write this as negative 2 plus 0i. I'm going to give you a fact now about complex numbers that's not something that we're ever going to do in this class. It's just in case you're curious. With complex numbers, one of the things that we can do is we can plot them on the xy plane based on the real and imaginary parts as the x and y coordinates. If we wanted to do that here, this complex number has a real part of negative 2 and an imaginary part of 0. So if we wanted to plot it, we could plot it as the point negative 2 comma 0, which means we go to the left 2 and up 0. So that point would be there. If we wanted to do the other points, 8 plus 10i, that would mean that we have a real part of 8, so we go to the right 8, and an imaginary part of 10. Now, my graph uh, doesn't actually go high enough, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so I'd have to put it a little bit above where we are. That would go there. And then this other one, negative 1 minus 7i, would go to the left 1 and then down 7, so that point would go here. Instead of the x and y axes, we would call them the real axis and the imaginary axis. And in this situation, every single complex number corresponds to a different point in the plane. We call this the complex plane. In fact, there are so many things that can be done with complex numbers that we won't see in this course, but you might see if you're a math major. 
There's even a calculus course that focuses exclusively on complex numbers. It's quite a big subject, and even though we're only seeing a small part of it, I wanted to give you a little bit of a glimpse of where it can go. And that's why we might want to actually write negative 2 plus 0i, because this 0 ends up being the y coordinate of the point. So we can't just leave it off. But again, for anyone still watching, for this particular class, all that's important is that you can add and subtract complex numbers. Everything else here was just a little bit of an extra discussion in case you were curious.